Another round of potential power shutoffs is looming, and this one could leave as many as 200,000 PG&E customers in the dark as soon as possibly tomorrow. The utility company is blaming the windy and dry conditions for these potential shutoffs. This is a live look outside right now, and you can see clear skies. Doesn't look like a whole lot of wind right now, but that will be changing. The shutoff could impact about 16 counties, including many nearby, and the utility admitted many mistakes were made during the last shutoff, including their website crashing multiple times. A spokesperson tells us a special event website has been made public and that can handle the higher volume of traffic. Many of the counties that were issued or impacted by this and had power shut off last time are on this list again. Neighbors and businesses in Amador County are now getting ready. Pretty much just get ready for salvage mode for everything that we could so we didn't lose as much. I don't buy food, a lot of food ahead, um, and you just plan. You have to fill water and get prepared for it. It's about all you can do. And PGE says they are going to begin those shutoffs anytime the wind speeds exceed 25 miles per hour. They are going to be notifying customers via cell phone, and also you can check on their website if your address is going to be impacted. 